All right, so I wanted to do a short video on the concept of approach. So what is approach? It is your liquid line temperature minus your outside air temperature. That's all it is. So let's say, for example, you get your liquid line temperature and you need a clamp and it's 95 degrees and your outside air temperature is 85. What's your approach? 10, right? So 95 minus 85, it equals 10. So more or less, you're looking in between 7 to 12 uh, for a normal approach. Now, that approach number, if it's past 12, if it's too high, a lot of the times it's attributed to a dirty condenser. If your approach is too low, below 7 degrees, it's possibly overcharged. So that's nice that you're able to do this non-invasive method uh, with, with the approach method to see what's going on with, with your system without connecting gauges. So yes, you need to be able to measure temperature of your outside and then a liquid line temperature. You don't need gauges. You can do it with the meter, with the temperature clamp. And I'm currently working with someone right now who built uh, these devices for me. Uh, these are pretty cool devices. It basically uses um, uh, temperature readings, thermal couples, sensors. I could even read CFM and um, amp draw. And I'm able to see it from my phone, even though the unit's in the lab and I'm at home, I'm able to see and even generate alarms via email and text messages. Um, right now might not be the best for technicians because there's a lot of wiring. I get that there's a lot of wireless probes that people prefer, but um, for maybe a homeowner or school, so I think this would be a good, uh, good thing to use. So I got some of my current sensors um, installed. Um, so now you're going to see another screen populate and it's going to give you my approach. And I have not blocked off airflow to the condenser. And you'll see right now as that changes. But currently, right now, my outside air temperature is 88 and my liquid line is 99. So remember the formula, 99 liquid line temperature minus outside air temperature. That's 99 minus 88. That's an 11 approach. That's good. I have an 11 degree approach. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover that condenser. And um, you're going to see how that this temperature is going to increase the liquid line temperature, not so much your outside air temperature, right? Because that's outside. But I've let the system run for a couple of minutes and I generated this report now. And look at my liquid line temperature is 108. It went up. And my outside air temperature went about two degrees, but 108 minus 90, that's an 18 degree approach. So, but just simply getting this number, it tells me that systems it has a dirty condenser. And I was able to find that out without connecting my gauges. So it's a nice and non-invasive method you can try out out in the field.